And welcome back to the biggest badass bunny of the bunch, ready to kick butt. Uh, last mission, Terabyte actually hit the floor, uh, but we were able to get him out, or her out. And I'm just checking out because I forgot to do that in the last video, even though I took a peek at all the soldiers to see how the will score is doing. Well, uh, they too took a hit, the will took a hit, but it's still 43, so there's no reason to fire um, this soldier. Uh, for now, anyway. It can still level up a bit and get the will back, so um, I'm glad you survived. And I'm glad you are still with us. And you can remain with us. Now I've got a lot of people in sick bay, and I might actually need some more people soon. And I was also thinking, actually, because the game's difficulty doesn't ramp up that fast and you get lots of sectoids early on, your people can actually level up before uh, more nasty things start coming your way. So that makes it a little bit easier, actually. So far I'm uh, plowing through it, even though I got in a pickle in the last video. And also I'm kind of enjoying it. I've got some very interesting new applications that I added to the list. And so far I'm quite happy with the LP. Saying that, I'm pretty sure everything will go to hell in this video, we'll see. I got an officer training school coming up in 8 days, satellite uplink is done in 11, and then I got some satellites coming in, and I can launch 3 of them just before the council report, which is in 27 days. So even if 3 countries are in full panic, I can pull them back at the last second. Gives us some room to move. I think I got everything in order, let's see, it's been a, this is the second recording session, so I need to get my bearings. Weapon fragments are going slow for 14 days, and uh, besides 2 satellites I'm not building anything and I'm broke. As usual. Let's see what pops up this time. Commander, we have multiple reports of new abductions in progress. The locations are marked on the hollow globe. I think I should go to Asia again because Africa is completely expandable. I got more engineers coming from China. And we fixed Argentina in the last video, but I can just back out of this, go to the situation room and have a look at panic levels all around the world. I don't think there was a mission in Europe. Yeah, there wasn't. So I cannot fix Germany. Um, there's also no mission in North America, so I cannot fix Mexico either. I can fix Asia a little bit if I go to China. Uh, panic will start again in South, Af South America, that's fine. I don't really mind. What was the third option, really? Oh, crap! Well. That's why I'm not playing on Iron Man, that was a misclick, and I will load the game, bear with me. And here we are again! That's why Iron Man is just absolutely horrible. I don't mind, you know, not reloading if I make mistakes, but misclicks, things that generally I didn't want to do, they should always be reloadable. Commander, Let's see if they, uh, we have multiple reports yeah. of new abductions in progress. The locations are marked on the hologlobe. They give me the exact same mission, so uh, everything's good and everything's fine. Now the engineers are in Egypt though, China gives me some money. And I get a sniper, which I actually do need from Argentina. But, um, you know, one of you guys might turn up to be a fine sniper. I think I should still go for China. This mission is now difficult instead of very difficult, so the game is cutting me some slack there. Yeah, let's try to um, get the panic in Asia a bit down. And 200 bucks is not that. Let's see, Corporal Canyon is in there, an assault, carrying assault rifle, as it should be. We got Sothras of the Mad Kid. Uh, our sniper's in sick bay, so I probably should uh, bring a rookie and hopefully uh, get a sniper that way. Let's have the Killing Citrus in there. I don't think uh, he or she uh, had any action so far. Yeah, this is probably good. I don't really need the madman in there too because I got one assault. So let's have Order of Hammer, our bearded guy, in there as well. Now you can carry the frag grenade, I guess. Actually, let's have Metal Cain carry a frag grenade because he will be in the front lines being an assault. And have the med kit on the rookies increase the survivability a little bit. It's a bit dangerous keeping my high-ranking officers out of these kinds of missions, but I think I can handle it, hopefully. We'll see. <laughs> Let's go. Sky Ranger taking off is still pretty loud, but I'm pretty sure the sound settings are as they should be. If not, well, 
dropship has oh, arrived. Sorry. We're heading into China for the next operation. I think we know the orders, and this is not we a map we've seen in this playthrough. Indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. It actually tells you this game mechanic. I figured this out by myself, but it actually tells you a soldier who has survived a critical wound can recover, but suffers a permanent reduction to will. I do not mind the fact that this is a possibility, but th to have a hundred percent chance of a permanent reduction to will, I think it's insane. But I think I stated that before. It's just I want a mod to get rid of that game mechanic. I know post-traumatic stress is an actual thing. Central, Big Sky in position on approach of the abduction site. Strike one is awaiting drop clearance. Copy that, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage hostile targets. Watch your backs out there, people. But I've actually had to retire a couple of corporals in my other game. I'm not, not too sure if I stated this. I probably should remember my commentary from previous videos. But I have to give them a desk job just because they are... Well, babbling idiots scared of their own shadow, really. Because they took so many hits to their will. Um, well, they freaked out if they saw a mouse, really. Now, I don't have a sniper for this one. And that's a serious lack in my tactics, usually. I rely on snipers too much. Pretty sure. This is uh, one long street, and we'll just follow the water slowly but steadily advancing. It won't be long before we trip something. There's no real reason to dash forward as long as I can just slowly but steadily make my way up on Overwatch. I will. Roger, I've got eyes on. Yeah, I do think the game is a bit easier this way because my soldiers get a better chance to level up. I think the fact that I'm spreading out the experience um, is also a good thing. If stuff really goes bad, I don't have just rookies to fall back on. At least that's the plan. I'm gonna dash this bit. Not ideal having two guys take off between, uh, sorry, behind the same car, but has to be done. Okay, you heard something, so you're gonna stay put. Oh, we actually see something. More floaters. Let's see, you can have a shot at both of them. Pretty good shot, too. I didn't bring a heavy, did I? Can't fire a rocket, no. Well, Mr. Canyon, I think you got the first shot here. Yeah, because killing Citrus can finish it off if you don't kill it. Nice. That's really setting it up for the rookie. Oh shit. Yeah, there we go. Get a kill. And that's how we train our guys. Thank you, MC, for setting that up. Order of Hammer got 30% from here. That's not great. And again, I cannot really get a better shot, I guess. This is not great cover either. But it is a little closer. Oh, crap. That's the drawback to getting a little closer. Oh, shit. Right, I'm facing five aliens now. And I didn't improve my shot. <laughs> Great move there. Well, I'm not carrying a grenade, so let's just take the shot. That's a load of gold. Yeah, I totally agree. Not one of them is flanked, apparently. 46. Yeah, let's take out the one closest first. Okay, I can throw a smoke grenade. Do I want one? Mm, might be a good idea. I think I can get these two guys in a, in a bit of smoke, get some cover. Yeah, let's do that. Let's take care of our boys. And girls. asking for help. I think you got plenty of help in those four sectoids over there. 
We're gonna do the Vulcan thing again. What are you up to? You're gonna take shots or just gonna wander about? Watch, that's fine by me. Let's hope the smoke helps. Excellent, but did he set fire to the car? I don't, I don't think so. If he did, I got to get the hell out of there. Uh, he did. Sothras is in trouble over here. Then again, you can just flank these guys. We want you back here. Yeah, let's go back. This is full cover too. Well, I hope you live. Now they set fire to the car that's uh, actually their cover. Got this guy flanked. MC's got the grenade. Can't throw that far now. Can dash up a little bit. Sorry, move up a little bit. Let's float or bucket off, right? I think he did. Where did he go, actually? I had a pretty long day, so please forgive me if I'm not that sharp. Thirty percent is your best. Fifteen just for this guy. Fifty-five. This car is not on fire, right? Let's confirm that. This car is not on fire, actually. Well, let's just take care of business. These guys will probably bugger off before the car would explode. Let's just take the best shots available. Nailed him. Shot wide. Well, okay, you can dash up a little bit, destroy the cover from this guy. Probably should have done that first, might have given me a better shot. And again, this is a dash. You could run and gun, but then you can throw the grenade, so... I guess it is run and gun time. Going in for the kill. The explosion from the car doesn't reach very far. Well done. I think if you're one tile away, like one tile in between you and the car, you're pretty safe. That's our rookie, getting some action finally. From Germany. So far these aliens are pretty chicken really. They're just running away. Once again, X comes in the house, blowing up the city. Didn't the rain put out the fire? I don't know. Actually cars shouldn't explode like this, it's highly unrealistic. We got very few aliens in sight. Got a 10% shot at this guy, that's horrible. Let's peek around this car, see if we can spot a floater. Nope. Let's do this. Let's have a little dash. This is a pretty good cover, except it's really easily destructible, so it's not ideal. But it's better than nothing. I can take cover behind cars that already exploded again. Shell. These uh, alien things that drop in the middle of the street actually provide full cover. It's they're harmless, by the way. They won't harm your soldiers. You can just park them right next to it. Nothing will happen. Despite what you see in the introduction of the game. Once again, the aliens are being very friendly for some reason. Well, it's their fault. Care 
because I'm not playing it friendly. Enemy troops. These could be the last ones in the mission already. Was that a dash? Really? Oh wow, I thought it was... <sighs> well, you're not in a good spot there, mate. Take care of some business then. This is not a dash. You should be more mindful of it. Do get a uh, shot to the face. Oh wow, three damage. Not too bad. Sothrus, but you uh, have to watch it. 66. Let's just try and clean some of them up. Kill confirmed. And improve the chances of uh, our guy over here. Who is this actually? Order of Hammer. In your first mission, it's uh, put you at risk there. I apologize. Let's hope the other guys save your ass. And compensate for my mistake. Three sectoids will now take a shot at you and you might be flanked. Well, it's just two sectoids able to take a shot. You got some cover against this guy. Yeah, he missed. Excellent. However, this guy, I think, as you pretty much flanked, he's got a pretty clear shot. And he decides to fire at Sothrus. Who was missed as well. Metal Canyon, carrying the grenade. How far can you throw this thing, man? Not just far enough. This provides you cover and is not a dash. You only get one guy in the explosion. We'll blow up the car. And I like explosions. Frag out. Excellent. Metal Cane is killing them in all kinds of different ways. Let's see. Oh, you actually don't have a great shot from over here. Probably means they don't have one either. Sothrus, not really a better spot for you. Yeah, maybe this will help. Mm, not really. Take it anyway. Target still up. Seventeen and ten. Still seventeen and ten. Well, take the 10 at the guy doing the mind melt. Might get lucky. Nope. Uh, missed. Enemy down. Will he redo the mind melt? Because I'm fine with that. Yeah, he will. I'll hunt him this round and take care of them both. This actually generally misses. Somehow you get a very low percentage if you're backing against the same wall. That's why I did this, by the way. I'm aware of that. You only get a shot at him, not at the guy doing the meld. Oh, you actually lost track of him. Oh, fine. Twenty six, why not? No. Damn it. I like it. We're not gonna leave one car untouched on his map. Yeah, you keep doing the melt thing. It will actually heal him one hit point. And you just keep missing. Yeah, get closer. Get in my range. That will be both of That's a lot of kills for Metal Canyon in one mission. All mission objectives completed. I think you had like half of those aliens, maybe more. And yeah, those missions are pretty damn easy still. 
But don't worry, even if no soldiers die, once people reach uh, colonel level, I will no longer use them except for you on very important missions like large UFOs or an alien base. Software's got the nickname Pox. I'm not sure if that's something to actually... <laughs> uh, I think that's a bit uh, of a tease, really. Especially for a medic. Ah, we got Duke Metal Canyon. Excellent. Lightning reflexes. That's a no-brainer. The other one is close and personal. Confers 30% critical chance against adjacent targets. All well and good, but this is like... Um, you can provoke an attack of opportunity, if you can throw in a D&D &D term. And get away with it. So you can draw fire, actually, for free. That's great. It actually helps the entire squad. And there is my second sniper. The Killing Citrus. You have just become a very important soldier for me. Because you're d just the second sniper I got. And especially as long as um, my main sniper, Robots Will Eat You, is in sickbay, you will be on every mission. Also, I kind of think it's important to level up the second one. So you can alternate between missions. We got 200 bucks we out of it. Be in touch, Commander. Uh, I can't really work and build anything now because I need more power. And I will build more power right here in three days. I'll use it to just build some buildings and stuff like that. Actually, I also could get some more soldiers because I got plenty in Sick Bay. And it's cutting it a little bit close. Let's do four more guys. I will rename them in the next video because I got to update my list before I do anything else. Office the training. Officer training school online. I actually might update that one, that one too because I get one extra guy in the squad. And for this one, I need a captain. Yeah, bringing five soldiers to the field is, is pretty good. But I also don't gotta... Don't... Uh, I shouldn't neglect my research. Even though it seems like the aliens are standing still. Uh, so is my research. So, And they're not standing still, believe me. Numerous UFOs have been spotted streaking over the skies of France and... Concern for the citizens' safety is building. Since they don't have satellite technology to contract the aliens like we do, they're offering a substantial amount of assistance. Substantial amount. To our efforts. So if I cover that nation with a satellite... They will give me 200 bucks, which will pay for another satellite. But I've got no interceptors there, and the panic is pretty low. I don't know if I want to do that. It is free money, really. France gives 80 per month and one scientist. Can only always use more scientists. And I got two more satellites coming up. I can use the money to get some interceptors in Europe. Yeah, why not? The bonus in Europe is also pretty good, so why not? Two interceptors in Europe. And yeah, we'll focus on Europe and the United States. Sorry, North America. Satellite uplink complete. Because more money really makes more money. That's how it works. I will focus on those two continents pretty much. If I can get um, South America easily, I will also do that. But let's see, for power generator I need 120, I got 15. That's easily fixed. That's easily fixed. go. I think the next thing I probably should build, besides more satellite uplinks, is a lab. Just to get the science up a little bit. It gives a 20% bonus, which is quite substantial on this uh, marathon setting. Weapon fragments. I'm not gonna bother reading all this. A scope is pretty nice. And I think beam weapons takes priority, even though it's 72 days. 72 days! How long for the arc thrower, really? 36. 
Look at those research time. 24, 36. I cannot even do this because I don't have the materials for it. And the autopsies are also 24 days. Beam weapons is 72 days. I can say it 20 more times, it's still 72 days. <sighs> what to do, what to do. I guess I should go for it because it's such a substantial upgrade to the weaponry. And by the time I get this, I really need it probably. All of this doesn't yield any direct results. Beam weapons gives me laser rifles right away. And most classes, except for heavies, can use laser rifles, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. I expected that would be a priority research task, Commander. I'll begin allocating resources to the project immediately. Thank you very much. Breaking news at this hour. Oh boy. Reports from around the globe indicate a shift in the alien phenomena now affecting cities worldwide. We're now receiving word of outright attacks. Looks like they've changed their tactics. But why? Why do this? It's a message to the entire world that nothing can stop them. Once again, Darwin at work. Take an example. Don't stare there. Stand there. Run! Run! It's nice how the twins are helping each other out. Yeah, those are chrysalids. Now over. Not my favorite kind. I'm glad I get in field 5 soldiers now, and it's time to not take the rookies, even though they have some experience now. Sorry, fellas. I need the big boys for this one. I think my sniper... Sorry, my I am keep calling them by class. Oh no, everybody's out of sick bay. Everybody's out of sick bay. I will take the premium guys. Put them at grave risk. Even though I'm pretty sure this terror mission is not as hard as you get it um, if you play without marathon, it's it's still a terror mission. The robots will eat you is back in business. I got two snipers to work with if I wanted. I'm not too sure if I, if I need two. Got an assault, a support with a med kit, another assault and a heavy. I think that's actually quite perfect. These are the boys that are gonna do it. I'm gonna get there, I'm gonna save the game and call this a video. I have to say I'm kind of excited about this one because terror missions are pretty hard. Dropship has arrived. Our target site is near the German border. It's not bad that it's in Germany. Alien activity taking Germany had panic problems, so if we pull this off and, and actually save a decent amount of civilians, we can really reduce panic. Casualties. On the other hand, if you don't pull this off, uh, we can say bye bye to Europe and that satellite on France is well all well and good, but it's not gonna do a lot. kind of hoping still that this is gonna be easy but on the other hand even though I've got myself into a little pickle in my previous UFO crash mission this game also needs a hard mission Central this is Big Sky confirm signal uplink strike team is in position near the terror site awaiting confirmation solid copy Big Sky strike one has been given the green light your highest priority is to protect those civilians well ladies and gentlemen I will call this a video, and in the next one, we are going to try and save as many of the civilians of Berlin as we can. I'll see you there, hopefully. Listen to that, by the way. 
Is that creepy background noise or what? Wow. I do gotta give it to this game, they do set a mood. I really do. Until next time, see ya.